Okay, so I'm just going to give a very brief um, overview of the collaboration between the College of Surgeons in Ireland and the College of Surgeons of East, Central and Southern Africa, COSEXA, and then focus, uh, again quite briefly, on the e-learning component um, of that collaboration. First of all, to say why there is a collaboration program. Um, similar to other um, human resources for health areas, uh, in surgery there is a, a huge deficit in um, East Central and uh, in Southern Africa. Um, without going into the details, just a quick look at that glance. A quick, quick glance at that chart will show you um, the deficit that's there. 11% uh, of the global burden of disease, as measured in DALIs, is conservatively estimated to be amenable to surgery. Um, and this is growing um, already in sub-Saharan Africa. Injury is the main cause of death and disability for children aged five and over. So while um, TB and malaria and HIV and AIDS may grab the headlines, surgery certainly has a place to, uh, a place to play um, in sub-Saharan Africa. And a point that's sometimes forgotten or, or sometimes ignored is that surgery, basic surgery is quite affordable. Um, for DALI averted surgery is cheaper than antiretroviral therapy, for example. And uh, one statistic there, 1,390 qualified surgeons for 265 million people in the, the Cossexa region. In Mozambique, for example, it's one surgeon per million population. The College of Surgeons of East Central and Southern Africa is working to train surgeons to meet this need. Um, it's developed a, a common uh, regional sur surgical training program which is undertaken uh, in designated training institutions with one common examination across the nine countries. It's a college without walls, meaning that there are 61 accredited training locations all across the region. Um, some are mission hospitals, some are state hospitals, private hospitals, there's, there's quite a variety. At the moment, as I said, there are nine countries in COSEXA. Now, I'm delighted that um, the uh, Sudanese uh, Association of Surgeons has applied to join COSEXA, and um, I'm very much looking forward to working with the uh, Sudanese, surgical, um, Sudanese surgeons when that hopefully uh, comes through. So, COSEXA offers a membership program and seven uh, speciality and subspeciality fellowships. General surgery, or, uh, orthopedics, pediatrics, urology, neurosurgery, plastic surgery, and ENT. The numbers trained so far are relatively small but growing quickly. 61 surgeons have been trained since uh, examinations began in 2004. Now the numbers are up to 144 trainees. Uh, the College of Surgeons in Ireland began its collaboration with COSEXA in 2007. It's now evolved into a, a cross-college collaboration involving RCSI departments as diverse as surgery, exams, anatomy, pathology, physiology, IT, communications, media services, and the Leadership Institute. Virtually the whole college is involved in, in, in somewhere or other. To give some quick examples, um, the, the collaboration program delivers train-the-trainer uh, courses to all COSEXA trainers in the nine countries. Um, it's developing a, a basic science faculty, again, in all nine uh, countries. Um, it, it delivers uh, orthopedic surgery and general surgery, uh, fellowship seminars, and basic science trainings at the membership level. Uh, also in Zimbabwe, it's involved in training, um, training doctors in basic surgery. Organizational development, a number of things we do on that level as well. And the exams, we provide external examiners, we deliver um, pre-exam training courses, and we benchmark uh, the COSEXA exams against the RCSI exams. That's maybe a brief overview of some of the things we do, but just to look at one area in, in a bit more detail, um, which is e-learning. I was very, uh, very interested to hear about the, the health library area on. I thought it's a, an exceptional initiative. And I think maybe uh, there's some um, grounds for, for sharing uh, with what we do. 
So the e-learning platform that's used by Cosexa is called School for Surgeons, www.schoolforsurgeons.net. In order for uh, trainees to gain access to this, we've, um, we've created IT labs, and 19 IT labs so far in eight countries, which will be increased to 27 by the end of the year. Uh, maybe I think I'll just show you a picture. This is not a high-tech, uh, particularly high-tech lab. Basic uh, computers, printer copier, scanner, projector, projector screen, quite simple, just to enable trainees to have uh, reliable access to, to the e-learning site. Uh, last year, we made it mandatory for all trainees um, at the membership level to complete, um, all, sorry, all trainees in the exam year at the membership level to complete a number of um, online case studies. This is uh, slightly experimental in a way because not all trainees have access to an IT lab. We weren't sure whether trainees would find you know, a way in which to get reliable internet access. We were very pleased with the way it turned out. 31 out of 32 um, of those who had to complete the case studies did. There's always one who doesn't. Now, I'll just very briefly show you um, what the, the School for Surgeons looks like. There's the front page. Similar to the Health Library, it's based on the Moodle platform. Now, this, these are a list of different courses. We're going to have a quick look at MCS, the membership level um, course for this year. So, a trainee clicks on the first case. They read down through the text. There are photos, x-rays. Um, but the main thing about this is that all the content downloads very, very quickly. There are no videos. It's all very light. Um, so, you know, it doesn't really matter what speed your internet connection is, you can get this. These are some of the trainees posting uh, their responses. It's a little bit like Facebook. Everyone has their own profile and you can send messages to each other. Here is uh, well, the start of one of their answers. And then once the case closes, the trainees can see all the, all the um, responses of all of their colleagues. As someone mentioned earlier on, a lot of learning takes place you know, trainee to trainee rather than uh, hierarchically. So they can see those responses of their colleagues. They also can see the feedback from the professors who've posted the cases. And there's also uh, a number of additional resources um, posted for the trainees to go through. So those, those are the, the mandatory case studies, and they're for all different subspecialities. That was just uh, one that I was showing there. Now, there's a lot of other resources on there. Um, for, for anatomy, for example, they have the, the surface anatomy guide, which is hours and hours of, of video um, on, on surface anatomy. Similarly, a dissection guide, full access to the College of Surgeons and Arrow Library, uh, a structured um, basic surgery course, a communication course, uh, resources for all the trainees. It really is quite comprehensive. And I think the, what, what is fairly unique about this is that it's Africa-centric. The, um, the whole e-learning site has been designed from scratch with COSEXA. It's not an adaptation of an existing site. It's not um, you know, a, a Western site with you know, token amounts of, of um, Africa-centric material. It's designed from the start with COSEXA. All those cases you see are all African and suitable to the to the context in which trainees are going to find themselves. So, in conclusion, the, the feedback and usage statistics are very encouraging. Um, trainees do find a way to get access to this material, even if they don't have access to an IT lab. The, we believe the success of those mandatory case studies proves, uh, provides proof of concept. Um, it helps to overcome geographical difficulties. As I said, the trainees are spread out in, in, in a huge area, and um, many of them are in, um, in, in regional district hospitals. And it allows dispersed trainees to feel part of something greater. It creates a collegial atmosphere. So e-learning, we believe, is a scalable and cost-effective way of delivering standardized training across a wide geographic distance. I think the, the time for people to speculate about the possible 
um, the possible uses of e-learning is maybe past, and now is the time, you know, to actually put these things into action. So that's 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 a. Um, a little bit about the e-learning, just to say that you know, um, Cosexa, as I said, is growing. The training numbers are increasing. Um, e-learning is growing. Um, the organizational development is taking place. There's a, a huge increase in training and research capacity, and a greater capacity to engage with other bodies. I see the the yellow card with the, with the European Championships. I hope that's the the last yellow card or red card an Irish man has shown for the next. Uh, few weeks, but anyway, I'm on, I'm on my last slide now, so as I said, um, you know, we're delighted that Sudan uh, has applied to join COSEXA. We're looking very much forward to working, um, to working with uh, our Sudanese colleagues, and uh, I think the future um, is very bright for this. Thank you very much.